I want to send this timely warning from the Holy Ghost. The church of Christ is the bride of Christ. You may tamper with a man's thing. When you tamper with his wife, you will see his red eye. You may tamper with his car and they beg you. But when you slap his wife, begging can't solve it all. Amen. You may think the man is weak. When he rises, you have to take over. The church is the bride of Christ and whosoever touches you, touches the apple of his eyes. Please beware of the church of Christ. I'm not talking about just your church. I'm talking about the church of Christ. Where Jesus is preached, where people get saved, my God. We are the testify of divine presence in their midst because wherever you see miracles, God is present. Yes. We are prepared for heaven. Be careful. Yes. The church is nobody's property. Jesus purchased it with his own blood. Anything done against any church of Christ is done against Christ. The church is his body is the head of the church. This church, every church of Jesus is the body of Christ. Be careful what to do with the church. Be careful not to do anything against his church. Be warned. Church is not a club. Whosoever comes against this tomb, Matthew 21 44, shall be broken. There are many broken believers. Sir. And can't tell where the brokenness came from. And whosoever this stone shall fall upon, it shall be grinded to powder. My God. Be careful not to do a thing against any church of Christ. God does not know jokes. God doesn't know jokes. Those here people, that's enough. That's enough to incure an incurable disease. That's enough to silence such individuals for life. Whose mouth must be stopped? He stopped the mouth of Miriam. We never heard of her again. He stopped his mouth. He stopped the mouth of Sennacherib. His two sons killed him. He stopped the mouth of Nebuchadnezzar. He became an animal for seven years. Stop your mouth before God stops it. Stop your mouth against his church before God stops it. Don't wait for God to stop your mouth. It's risky. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. So, so, what persecuted me? What now, Lord? I'm Jesus. You think you're persecuting the church? You're persecuting me. 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 I'll show you what to suffer for me. So he gave him back all the suffering that he suffered God's people. Ah, they beat that man. <laughs> so caution, caution, caution. Can I hear what it is? Second Thessalonians chapter one, verse six. Saying it's a righteous thing with God to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you. He's talking about the Thessalonian church. Titus 1 10 and 11. For there are some unruly and vain talkers among you, 
especially among the circumcision. Whose mouth must be stopped. Who subvert all houses? They go from house to house. Yes, what do you think about the church? You know we have been there before you. One has to be careful. One has to be careful. Not everything they say there is true. So, you know, I was there 10 years before you came, so I know what I'm talking about. Go back by If God stops your mouth, you will start smelling. Don't. That church is not of God. If it's of God and it catches you, it's your trouble. That man is not a man of God. Who made you a judge? Face where you are going. Please caution. Whose mouth must be stopped? For the Zovat who houses. There are those who just go talking chaff, not knowing they are talking away their life. Talking away their life. I've had people who came to tell me what they think their leader was saying against me. Their pastor's there. Who, I just read back at them. Do you know their name? Never. I didn't ask their name because we have no contact. No, 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 no. Where you finish? Thank you, Jesus. Be blessed. Find your way. I, I, my life is precious to me. I don't want to use my mouth to destroy my destiny. Caution. You will never hear me speak against a church in this place till I die. Since the beginning, even when you go against us, you won't hear me say one word. You are expressing a view which you are allowed to. So what's the problem? Caution. Caution. Every form of gang up against God is costly. Don't. Don't. Now, quickly, Matthew 12, verse 30 to 31. Very serious one. The Bible says, He that is not with me is against me. He that gathereth not with me scattereth abroad. So there are some scatterers. Now watch verse 30. Wherefore I say unto you, every manner of blasphemy, sin and blasphemy, shall be forgiven men. But the blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. That means case closed. Case closed. Many safe people may lose their salvation completely by unguarded thoughts, unguarded words against the move of the Holy Ghost. Against the move of the Holy Ghost. This might perhaps be a last warning for some individuals to repent if they choose to. If they don't, they've signed up. There was a time they wanted to corner me to sign a document against a ministry. I refused. I'm not part of that. He didn't stop from doing your own thing. Do your thing now. Why are you there when God spoke to him? What is your problem? What's your problem? What's your problem? Some must have wished that this ministry died. The one they are doing has died. It, it's not this thing. It's not games. It's not games, sir. It's not games. Every truth of scripture either creates a future or destroys it. You receive it, it creates it. You reject it, it destroys it. Blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. Now, look at verse 31. It makes it worse. Neither in this one nor in the world to come. <laughs> it said, and whatsoever shall speak a word against the Son of Man shall be forgiven him. Whatsoever speaketh against the Holy Ghost. It shall not be forgiven him. Neither in this world, my God, or in the world to come. Jesus speaking, not a man. This is not St. Paul. This is St. Jesus. This is St. Jesus. This is the living word of God. Let's be careful. There are some people who are believers before. Born believers, they are all celebrated cult members today. Cult members. Heaven rejected them. My God. They knew. In the name of Jesus, no one will cross that red mark. A yeah. hey, church is by your house. My God, don't, they, don't spite them. What are they doing here? Is this how church is? Okay, where was your church before? 
That was the church before. We bought our first medical equipment November 1986. November 1986. What were we using? Mouth and leg to praise God. Wake up, wake up. Be careful. Yes. Every little church is the body of Christ. Yes, sir. Be careful what to say, what to do. Be careful what to say, what to do. Tell everybody, yes, I'm sorry, I'm no longer interested. I'm no longer interested. I know an official of this church is gone now. What he was saying about the church, where, when he was still an official, when he was still an official, a young man had him, he said, never, I'll never come to this place again. What he was saying against the church when he was an official, people don't fear God. Oh. People don't fear God. My prayer is that God will have mercy upon anyone who may have gone astray and may each one be willing and ready to repent on time and turn from it. Amen. Please, please turn from it. Turn it doesn't add anything to you. It only erodes value from you. Turn from it. Turn from it. Paul reacted very sharply against a man. He said, I handed him over to Satan that he may not blaspheme anymore. First Timothy chapter 1 and verse 19. He said, holding faith and a pure conscience, which some have put away against faith, have made a shipwreck of their life. Now, he said, among them, uh, he said, of whom is Arminius and Alexander, whom have handed on, delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. Kelo de. No. May no words of blasphemy come from anyone's mouth from henceforth against the church of Christ in the name of Jesus. Amen. Paul was warning them with tears for three years. With tears. Tears are not money. Money. It's money in their devastation. Money in their destruction. Now, in Acts chapter 20 verse 29, Paul was speaking. He said, for I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter among you, not sparing the flock. They are scatterers. He said, also of your own selves, members of this team, shall men arise, speaking perverse things to draw disciples away after them. He said, Therefore, watch, set a watch against them. Remember that within three years, I cease not to warn every one of you with tears. Watch out against these perverse talkers. They pay gruesome price for it. So what are you doing there? By the grace of God and the help of heaven, I'm a friend of every church. I'm a friend of every ministry. By the grace of God. In my heart and with my acts. I'm a friend of every church. I'm a friend of every ministry. You need to hear me on the field. I say, hey folks, now you are saved. Ensure you belong to a living church where the word of life is preached to get your battery of salvation charged and your light shining. Many of you will be out of here to um, outside the country to various cities. Find a living church. There's always one wherever you go to. We are marketing Jesus. We are going to the same heaven. Please be careful what you say. By, be care by being careful of what you think against any ministry, against any church, it will pay off a great deal. A great deal. A great deal. Somebody met one of my sons in the ministry and he said, hey, be careful with Bishop. He will initiate you to a cult. Oh. Now, and he is a ministry. Jesus. Hello. But 
you find struggling and struggling forever without end? It's a ministry. To the impure, all things are impure. Yes, wake up. Wake up. Whatever I tell you, my son, that's not in the world, trash it. But if what I tell you, you find it in the world, embrace it. It's for your good. It's for your good. I've not added one thing to Jesus in 53 years. Five, three years, I've not added one thing to Jesus. I've not sought help from any other source in my life. No. This thing works. It works with simplicity of faith. Just believe in God that his word is ever true. Jesus is Lord. Somebody's story has just changed. So be one. Be one. Rebels are always looking for who to go with them. Be one. Three men rose and took 250 men. Data and Abiram. And they all perished like a dream of the night. You will not perish. Amen. Give the Lord another big hand of praise. <laughs> Only those. They never believed in the person of Jesus. And they could not be imparted by his ministry. Even though it came straight from God. Now, some of us came from just human beings. <laughs> and so, human beings have their choice. Yes. Only those who truly believe in a messenger can be impacted by their message. Only those who truly believe in a messenger can be impacted by their message. <laughs> Until you receive the prophet, what he carries cannot impact on your life. Why are you sweating? For you. <laughs> For you. I've not faked one thing or tried to impress you by one kind of statement. It's working for me 101%. Consistently so. My son, before you were born, Amen. His father and I are one of the closest friends. <laughs> Amen. So, only those who truly receive a messenger sir, can be impacted by his message. Jesus landed in Nazareth. Is this not Jesus? The man that ran away is to take over from his father's carpenter. They just said he went to somewhere and was preaching. Who taught him how to preach? They don't preach in their family. They did not receive his person. They could not be imparted by his message. A word is enough for the wise. <laughs> I received the person and the message of Aiken. His cloak fell on me. I received the person and the message of Copeland. I wear him. The person and message of we are the boy. There is no doubting where it's coming from. Everybody's doubting where you're coming from. What's the problem? What's the problem? Mama purple broke down. Look, I've been in this before I met you. So it's not that I'm trying to, to, to impress you. was weeping in warning the church. What was it? Vulgar talk. Deadly talk. <laughs> As 20, 20 to 31, that's where many people are not, things are not working for them. Anything against the church of Jesus is against Jesus. Anything. So, why persecuted thou me? Who are thou, Lord? I'm Jesus, whom thou persecuted. Not your church only, who? any church of Christ. Anything that you and your wife sit down to talk against the church of Christ, sir, is deadly. It's, de it's poisonous. It's killing. It's a killer disease. Please sit down. Sit down. It's a killer disease. Many are killing themselves without knowing. Mama, probably cannot do it. I've told you by example and by teachings, you've never heard me speak against a church in your life. Where did you get it from? 
Uh, My church is better than yours. Who, which one is yours? Jesus bought the church with his own blood. Yes. How did he become your church? Caution. Caution. You may not agree with a church in their doctrine. That's, it's not their church. It's his church. Anything you do against the church of Christ in secret, in the open, you pay. You pay. You pay for it. Now, Acts 20, 29, 29 to 31. I'm, I'm, my mission this morning is to just let you know why some things are not working. Now, for I know that after my departing, some grievous wolves shall enter in among you, not sparing the flock. Now, verse 30. Also of your own selves, among your members, shall arise, shall men arise, speaking perverse things, to draw disciples after them. Remember, I said, watch. Remember that by the space of three years, I cease not to warn everyone day and night with tears. You are killing yourself. Study to be quiet, do your own business. Ah, you gather against your service unit. What is your problem? Did they force you to be there? Leaders of units gather against the pastors. What is your problem? People are killing themselves without knowing where their death sentence is coming from. You better be careful. He was warning them with tears. You know why? Second Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. The word says, Sin is a righteous thing for God to recompense tribulations to them that trouble you. That's God's agenda for the troublers of his church. Tribulation. Troubles without number. Beware, 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 beware. beware. I've seen disciples from other churches coming to me and telling me what their leader said. I just despise. Throw it away. I know where I'm going. They talk against you. No, you don't understand them. You don't understand them. Don't be dragged into deadly talks. The talk is an unruly member of the body. It kindles great fire. It pulls people off. Caution. Many need to repent today. Today, Jesus, by your blood, forgive me. You need to see me on the field. And I say to people, now, ensure you belong to a living church. Ours is one of several thousands. My God. And that's the truth. Caution. Now, it's not about being this church. Anywhere you are in your life, if you speak against a church of Christ, the price is heavy. Mercy. What's your problem? Now, Matthew chapter 12 and verse 30. We read that on to 32. Matthew 12, 30 to 32. He that is not with me is against me. He that gathers not with me is scatters. Scatters abroad. Now, therefore I say unto you, all manner of sin and blasphemy shall be forgiven unto men, but blasphemy against the Holy Ghost shall not be forgiven unto men. When the Holy Ghost is moving, don't sit down somewhere and be mocking it. It shall not be forgiven. <laughs> you know, why Paul suffered what he suffered? He did, he did it in the ground, but he suffered. The way he was banning people, that's the way they banned him. Go to Jerusalem. The way he was going about killing people, that's why they went about killing him. Everything he did, he paid. Abba. Abba. Every. <laughs> I told one of my men, I said, you don't need to be beaten to write an epistle. I've been writing an epistle. I've not been beaten. 
They had to beat him. He was beating people. He was beating believers. He had to get the beating back. My God, you better wake up. Blasphemy against the Holy Ghost at a cost. You see the way Papa is sweating? He's so that people can come to church. You, you just get dumped for nothing. What's your problem? This church self, I don't know what they are doing, but I don't think that it's just what they are doing. Ah, yeah. You stink. You don't even bend very fast. You go off. Caution. Caution. Thank God for principles, but thank God much more for corrections and scriptures. So you don't labor in vain. He that keepeth his mouth, keepeth his life. Let God set a watch over your tongue and a guard over your mouth. You, you just need to package yourself to align with the glory that God is bringing upon his church. You will not miss your place. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, this is God himself just reacting. May God never react against any one of us. In the name of Jesus Christ.